Ladies and gentlemen, she is a star of stage and screen and a longtime activist and friend of Global Green. You've seen her on, among others, Who's the Boss, Law and Order, and Ugly Betty. She is presently starring on Broadway in Lombardi. Please welcome Judith Light. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. I'm very happy to be here. I don't think I'm going to need this, so we'll just close that right up. It's lovely to be here, and it's fabulous to be here in New York City. I've done these events in California, and I'm just really happy to be here tonight. The challenge of securing and eliminating nuclear, chemical, and biological weapons requires programs that are global in scope. That is why one of Global Green USA's original initiatives established under founding Chairman Mikhail Gorbachev was the Security and Sustainability Program. Since its inception, this program under the direction of Paul Walker has been actively involved in the elimination of over 40,000 metric tons of chemical agents across the world from the US to Russia to South Korea and India. The program has helped to successfully eliminate over 55% of the world's declared stockpile of deadly chemical weapons. And over the past year, it has been successful in raising hundreds of millions of dollars for nonproliferation, verification, and threat reduction programs throughout the world. This critical work, yes, Give it up. This critical work would simply not be possible without the tireless efforts of passionate, committed individuals who generously support non-governmental organizations and grassroots activists who are building a more peaceful and sustainable world. Wade Green, could he have a more perfect name, <laughs> is a prime example of such an extraordinary individual. Many of the NGOs in the arms control, disarmament, and environmental fields have been quietly and consistently funded through Wade's persistent efforts. A prominent philanthropic advisor to Rockefeller family and associates, his funding supported comprehensive work to stop weapons testing in the 1990s, resulting in the elimination of thousands of Russian and American nuclear bombs. A true Renaissance man, Wade writes extensively about arms control and is the founder of Nuclear Times Magazine and former editor of Newsweek, The Saturday Review, and The New York Times Magazine. His wide-ranging philanthropic efforts have promoted sustainable energy practices and provided critical support for democratic decision-making. Let's take a look. 